counting double digit thousands. Yes. Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Absol City and welcome back to another Build It, Tune It, and Record It episode. Now this is episode um, 3, I believe. This is going to be the sleeper edition, right? This car is pretty much a total sleeper in my opinion. This is the 1944 Deluxe Coupe. Look at how skinny those tires are on the SN. Like, that's just embarrassing. But you guys are going to be very surprised at how big of tires you can actually put on this car. I started tuning this car last week and I actually really enjoyed it so I decided that I will bring you guys a video on it. I have posted a few Grand Theft Auto videos um, in the past couple of days but we're going to get back into a little bit of Forza action. Now let's get straight into this build. This car has a body kit preset that you can put on um, with the 7.0 liter supercharged V8 putting it at over a thousand horsepower right but we're not going to do that we are going to leave it with the current stock way it is and we're going to go and customize it ourselves we're going to have to do the engine swap for the 6.2 liter v8 because the stock engine does not produce enough horsepower to really go fast okay we're going to put the twin turbo on it the air on appearance we're going to take off that front bumper because you guys all know weight reduction is key the rear wing uh we'll put that on too that, that that's got a little bit of green in the launch we're definitely gonna remove that rear bumper because weight reduction bro right we're gonna put the old race tires on there with the old see here's what surprised me when i first built this thing 355s on this i would have never expected this going through the auto show and even looking at this car but it can fit 355s on the back which is kind of crazy we should go with, uh, we'll go with, uh, I kind of want to go with a rim that's kind of more sleeper-ish, like you kind of don't really see it, but with those bigger tires on the back and the roaring 6.2 liter V8, it kind of gives it away. But, uh, yeah, screw it, we're just going to go with that. It's, it's kind of hard to hide a 6.2 liter V8 with 355s in the back. But it looks like a sleeper anyway, from a mile away. So we're going to call it a sleeper. Differential we're not going to do, but you guys pretty much know everything in drivetrain upgraded except for the differentials. Lever handling. Race brakes, rally suspension helps the launch a lot more. We're going to put in the any roll bars on both of those. Chassis reinforcement and roll cage. Yes, race reduction. Yes. So over into the engine. Blah, blah, blah. You guys already pretty much know how this freaking crap goes. Oh man, I should just start skipping over this stuff in the next week. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if I should just skip through all the upgrading, just kind of tell you what we're going to do and then skip through it so you guys don't have to sit here and look at this. The intercooler we're not going to do, the oil and cooling we're not going to do because that all drops it down, drops the launch down to a 9.3 I believe, what, it, what was it in my last car? Now we're almost at 2,500 pounds and 962 horsepower definitely a bigger upgrade from the 85 horsepower this thing comes with stock because especially when you slap big old 6.2 liter v8 in and it really helps a lot eighty thousand dollars plus the car was forty four thousand dollars that's 120 something thousand i really don't feel like doing the math but it's 124 thousand yeah it is i think i'm gonna feel so damn stupid if that's wrong Oh, anyway, here we go, saving content in a day now. Let's head out and take this baby for a rip. I love this car personally. It's one of my favorite, to be honest. This black screen, whatever load. There we go. This paint job looks pretty cool in the sun. Lots of wheel spin. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to fix that. Let's head over to one of our favorite drag spots. Not really favorite drag spots, but it's a good drag racing area. Head her down to the strip, and we are going to be doing the tests. Um, and the tuning. That's why it's called Build It, Tune It, and Record It. We built it. Now we're going to tune it. Should be Record It, Build It, Tune It. But you know... Whatever went. Man, these Hot Wheel cars, I tell you, they're all. What the hell? Why are they here? They should be back in Hot Wheels lane, having fun, tearing up the Hot Wheels. This is pavement, not a track. Let's get right into the tuning. We are going to take the tire pressure down in the front, or in the back. Low. 
put the ones in the front, gym, then baby is up to a 55. 55 pounds. That's a lot of tire pressure. Take the final drive down all the way for sure. The alignment, I believe, we screw up in this car too. We're gonna make that positive. The anti-roll bars, we are going to stiffen up all of the way. Yeah. Springs, front soft, stiff, heavy, and the rear. This just was like a two-click way, so you can just boop boop, done, get her done. Damping, um, yeah, we'll leave it there for a minute. Now we're at 3.442, which is actually not too bad, so let's see how this setup does right now. This still looks kind of like a sleeper, kind of, maybe, I don't know. Ooh, too much wheel spin already. Don't like that. We're going to have to start tuning that first gear down. Alrighty, let's jack that down to a 275. I haven't really gotten a second gear yet to be able to test it out. But we're gonna do that in a second. So let's do our launch control, 2,000 RPMs, and then go. Ooh, like no wheel spin right there. Ooh, second gear was pretty good. Okay, so that's pretty actually, that is actually really good for the first time going through this. Um, we are going to Tune that down just a little bit. Go to 273. Do this and this. I think that might be good. Wow, this is actually a pretty fast way that we're doing this. When we start doing the rolls or the mile down the strip and the quarter mile down the strip, I think I'm going to start doing the eighth miles too. Eh, we'll, we'll save that for another episode. If you guys want to see the eighth mile times and how fast it was going, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you guys want to see. But we're going to start this off with the mile tune because this this tune seems solid already. Wow, there goes the Hot Wheel boys. Hey! Close enough to being my brother. Alright. So we're going to set the mile up right about here. Set a mile. I feel like that's 1.1. Freaking knew it. It is. Almost there. Come on. Oh, it's gonna do this. Okay, yeah. Oh wow, it just changed. Okay, never mind. Right, we're gonna do our launch control and three, two, one. You have a bucket list challenge. Jesus, no, I don't. Okay, we had a little bit of wheel spin, so we might be able to turn that first gear down a little bit, but rather than that, that was a solid get go. We are already at 175, so fourth gear, okay, come on. We definitely got to cross this at 200. Now guys, this is not your ideal mile car, I can tell you that, but this car is sure as hell, it is, wow, 198. All right guys, this is definitely not your mile car, but if you're talking quarter mile and eighth mile, this thing has an amazing launch. 198. I don't know how long that was. It seemed a little slow, but, but as you guys can see, first gear, all the way up to like fourth, is the strongest out of this car. It's what it is. It's it's a sleeper dedicated for quarter mile and eighth mile. That's all I gotta say. Ooh, we are way off. We gotta turn around. Get to 440 and right about um, right here. All right. Our launch control, and wow, there's all sorts of old cars out. And three, two, one, go. We are 156 ish, it looked like. I think that's what it looked like. It's, it's like a 156. Uh, we might be able to do one more thing, but if it doesn't change any of the times, then I'm not even going to bother even trying it. But let's do the damping. Let's change that all the way up to stiff as possible. Um, 3.461. Yeah, that slows it down. So definitely don't keep your damping where it is if you guys are building this car. If not, then you clearly don't even fucking care. Right? Right. But, guys, I think that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Build It, Tune It, and Record It. This car is a very fast sleeper for what it is. It will be a majority of them. Hey buddy, are you trying to get in the shot too? Okay. 
it will be a majority of drag cars out there and still look old as hell but look sweet at the same time now, if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a comment and like button and hit the like button not the like button but all right but anyway guys if you guys are new please be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you guys are informed at when i upload videos but this is Absolicity signing out and I will talk to you all later.